In this segment, we are going to talk about the measure of health outcome occurrence or disease known as odds. In this segment, we will have the following learning objectives. They include both defining and calculating the measure of odds, knowing when to choose the measure of odds for the appropriate situation, and interpreting odds within the context of public health research. In statistics, we refer to odds as the ratio of the probability that an event, such as a disease, will occur to the probability that the event or disease will not occur. Odds are sometimes used in epidemiology to their convenient mathematical properties. We will use P as the symbol for a probability. The mathematical formula for odds is P divided by the quantity 1 minus P. You may be wondering why we use the odds as a measure since we already have other measures to use in epidemiology, such as prevalence, risk, and rate. Odds are easy to calculate and interpret. Odds tend to have more meaning to clinicians and laypeople compared to rates. The use of odds can be used to provide information to patients in clinical settings since odds can be easily understood. In addition, later in this course, you will learn about why the measure of odds is important in certain studies, such as case control studies. Sometimes we are not able to access or collect risk or rate data and odds data are our only feasible option. Now that you've been given a definition of odds, let's go through a few examples. Here again is the formula for odds. And you've been given the probability of an event is 0 0.20. Then let's calculate the odds using this formula. So the numerator will be 0 0.20, and then you will divide it by the quantity 1 minus 0 0.20 which gives you 0 0.25, or you can have the ratio constructed as the ratio 1 to 4. Let's try another example. If the probability of diabetes in a patient is 5%, then the odds of diabetes are, let's plug 0 0.05 into our formula. So you get P, or 0 0.05, divided by 1 minus 0 0.05, or 0 0.052632. To get a more easily understood ratio, you can then divide both sides by 0 0.05 to get a 1 to 19 ratio. Let's try a third example. Out of 100 births, the probability of having a boy is 51%, while the probability of having a girl is 49%. So to calculate the odds, you would take P, which is 51, and divide it by the probability of having a girl, which is 1 minus P, or 49. And this gives you the odds of 1.04. Now we'll give you the opportunity to try it on your own. This concludes the segment on the measure of health outcome occurrence or disease occurrence known as odds. So to summarize what we covered in this segment, we learned how to define and calculate the measure of odds, choose the measure of odds for the appropriate situation, and interpret the odds within the context of public health research.